Oh, hey there, folks. Didn't see you. I was just here painting a picture of a hill girl with Albedo and a signature weapon. The sin no, wait, no, not the Zinnabar spindle. No, 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 no. The Freedom Sword. Look at it. So it's my personal belief that the Freedom Sword was meant for Albedo. Yes, it's elemental mastery, but look, it's a Mondstadt weapon. Like all the other Mondstadt weapons, it's meant for Mondstadt characters. And you look at Albedo's kit, and you see that uh, he has a lot of things that interact with Crystallize, namely like his C6. And of course, he also has a talent that grants elemental mastery. And you start to see a character that has kind of a weird interaction with elemental mastery. And you have a sword that gives elemental mastery. Now, I think what they did was scrap this weapon because, one, I think they saw the community's reaction to Crystallize and one, the shield being kind of weak, and then the set that does give a pretty good buff, the Archaic Petra, it's a little bit awkward to use. And so nobody really ran Crystallize teams, and also you just introduce Shang Li, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're really making it obsolete at that point. Now, of course, a company that's for profit isn't going to waste all that work. They're going to find a character to use it on. And of course, here comes Kazuha, who can, of course, trigger it really well. The Elemental Mastery works really well on him. But, I mean, note that, like, right at C6, when he starts to become a DPS, you start to need something like the Mist Splitter or Jade Cutter. And both of these swords look so much better on him. Now, of course, Freedom Sword is the best weapon for Kazuha as a support, but... Uh, I mean, obviously, Albedo can trigger the exact same bonuses, though, uh, from the Freedom Sword. Now, there's obviously all the benefits of Swirl and the Viridescent Venerer set, but uh, as far as the weapon goes, Albedo triggers it just as well as Kazuha. So we're going to look at what it looks like for support Albedo. Now, obviously, he'll do less damage in the same way that, like, a support Kazuha will do less damage personally with his weapon compared to, like, a main DPS Kazuha with Mist Splitter. Um, but let's look and see what what is the difference between Yoimiya's damage uh, with the the effects of the Freedom Sword versus without. And so this is going to be you know no other buffs, just the Freedom Sword here. Um, all we got to do is make sure we get the two triggers. You'll see that little symbol on Yoimiya that shows we have that buff. Um, and it looks like we're going to peak out at about twenty seven thousand damage. Okay, so now this is the. Cinnabar Spindle, so there's no bonus here, it's just Yoimiya's raw damage here. Um, so without it, she does the same hit, 23,600 something it looks like. So a few thousand less. Now the main benefit you get from the Elemental Mastery is of course going to be the Crystallized Shields, giving a little bit more defense, which is uh, less interruption, which is more uptime, which is more damage, but it's just an added bonus, I'm throwing in a clip here, that uh, Albedo also triggers Shatter, and so you can actually make up some of that lost damage. And now these things have really high physical resistance, but a few thousand extra damage of Shatter. And now, like all things, right? I mean, they're meme builds until they work. And so, let me just, just like show some clips here about like what kind of teams work with Albedo in this way, like why you might want to run this. Um, you can see here that it works just fine in Abyss. Um, it's doing plenty of damage, and I was able to perfectly easily clear Abyss with this team and similar teams. Uh, you can actually notice also, it's pretty important to pay attention, there's no actual healer on this team with just the crystallized shields, and you can see here that I'm just standing in the ice stuff. Um, now obviously I can't shatter these guys, but I'm more pointing out that the elemental mastery from the extra shield strength is kind of going a long way to keeping you alive. Um, and out of this, I mean, you also get all the bonuses of like Albedo's Elevator uh, to help you dodge and stuff. So you can start to use Albedo in a more, I think, creative way. If you don't want to just build him for damage, you can start thinking about using him defensively also. And the characters he's going to work really well with are ones that obviously like normal attack, plunge attack, charge attack. This could be your Yoimiya, your Shao, your Kokomi. Um, all of these are really great pairings for a support Albedo, and again, you could use Archaic Petra, but I actually think there's a better character coming up soon that, that uses it better. And that, I mean, of course, Goro, who sucks up Crystallized Shields, and so if you give him Archaic Petra, he could run that buff. And then you could be relying more on the stronger shields from Albedo, make up the defense uh, using Goro's buff. Um, and again, like, Yunjin will have defense uh, bonuses also, so I could see a good core there that 
doesn't involve Ito, but does use all three uh, of these Geo supports, and maybe like a Yoimiya could be the driver of it. So um, that's just something to consider in the near future, and I think like future proofing your account with Freedom Sword might be something you want to think about, and you have one week left to do it. Now, of course, the weapon banner is a scam, and so it's never advised to pull on it. Uh, however, I do see support weapons as being like support characters and have long-term value. And you never know, right? They might have uh, positive interactions with Dendro, etc. in the future. Uh, but again, do be mindful, and, and if, especially if you're free to play, you know, do think twice. But uh, I guess my point here is that the Freedom Soren has a lot of value on Albedo, and I think that, that it has a good, strong future for him, too. Well, that just about does it for me. Uh, please do like, sub, comment, all that stuff. It really does help me make my way into the algorithm and gain favor with the robot gods so uh please do that and join the discord the link should be in the description and i'll catch you in the next video thanks a lot peace